these are the new EliteBook 800 G5. So, brand new products announced on February 7th and literally shipping since uh, February 22nd. So, these are available now. We have uh, three screen sizes, right? The 830 13 inch, the 840 14 inch, and the 850 15 inch. The biggest news is that the 830 used to be actually the very same footprint of this one, but what we did is that we actually shrinked the borders of the display and we are now able to put to fit a 13 inch display into a 12 inch chassis. Now that I talk about design, I can also mention the big news, the big change, the massive changes that we did on the design. Not only because it looks really thin and really light, the 830 is starting at 1.3 kilograms, but it's really on the materials that we have used and we are adding to these products. It's the aluminum. Aluminum looks really great, looks cool, feels great in your hands, but most important, it's super durable meaning that it doesn't need pain and it will be more durable than other materials like magnesium, for instance, or carbon fiber. What we can say then is the security. You know, HP is investing a lot in security and we are keeping, we keep doing this with uh, the 800 series G5. First, with HP Shoreview. So let's imagine that I'm on a plane and I don't want my content to be uh, shared with others. I can just disable and enable HP Shoreview. And you can see how easily and how, with the convenience of a button, I can block other people from seeing my screen. But still, for the user, I can still see what is on the screen. So really convenient solution, really designed with the enterprise in mind and for those mobile users who spend their lives on the plane or on public train stations, they can really have the peace of mind that they can secure their data. Still on security, I can talk about this nice privacy shutter, HP privacy camera it's called, that will allow, you know, stop to have the post-its like we used to see in the offices. So really, really nice feature here. With the IR cameras, of course. And then we have also a nice ambient light sensor. Like on your smartphone, the notebook will recognize what is the ambient lightning condition and automatically adapt the brightness according to this. And finally, I would say, on collaboration, we also have some really nice features. The HP Collaboration keyboard, where you have the hang up and hang on um, uh, keys to directly take control of your Skype for meeting uh, conference call. And then also what we call a wall-facing microphone. This microphone will be able to capture the external voices, so you can either set it up to capture the voice of other people to be in the conference room, or either capture the noise and cancel it. And if you cancel it, it will be used as a noise cancelling uh, capability to make sure that only my voice can be recognized. We can also see the new nice premium logo, premium design. So really nice, you know, the key message is that we are bringing the premium design to the mainstream workforce. In terms of connectivity, I.O. ports, we are keeping very important two full-sized USB ports, one on each side, one full HDMI, one USB-C supporting Thunderbolt, one RG45 connector for Ethernet connection. We, of course, keep the headphone and microphone combo jack, external slots for the SIM card, for the 4G connectivity. And finally, for me, one of the most important ones, we are keeping the side, what we call the side dock connector. This is the connector for the mechanical docking station that we have been offering to our customers during the last years. And what we are making sure, what we want to achieve here is that we give the confidence that our customers can smoothly transition from one docking station to the other, meaning that it will support their installed base of docking stations, the ultra slim dock. And then moving into 2018 and 2019, they will have time to transition to new docking solutions with USB-C connector, and they can do it uh, as they go in time. So really convenient solution here, flexible docking solutions.
And that's, in a nutshell, most of it. Brilliant design and really secure and made for collaboration. If we look into the specs, we basically have a, here an example of a, an i5 and 16 gigs uh, system with optional discrete graphics. We have the latest graphics, discrete graphics from AMD, the Radeon RX, RX 540 series. And basically it's uh, also upgradable to up to one terabyte PCI Express SSD and uh, 32 gigs of RAM. In terms of display, we have an entry display which is uh, around 220 nits and uh, we will have an, an upgrade option still on Full HD to 400 nits, so much brighter display. Actually this one is a 400 nits display, so quite a fair brightness. And then we move up to the UHD option or also touchscreen options and the shoe view options that I showed on the other, on the other uh, screen size. So we're seeing here right the 830 which is uh, pretty much the most mobile form factor of the 800 series G5. Why the more mobile? Because it has the smaller footprint, the smaller weight starting at 1.3 kilograms and as you can see here for instance I have the 840 so that's his bigger brother, a bit bigger in terms of screen size, 14 inch still with the nice narrow borders and then if you want to compare more or less the difference of footprint between both fairly small difference but you know those smaller centimeters can sometimes be very important especially for those users who are more and more mobile today um, if we look into the price we have the 830 and the 840 actually starting at the same price of uh, 849 euros excluding VAT and uh, the 850 the 15 inch product will start at 869 euros with a uh, entry configuration like 128 gigabyte SSD and um, uh, 4 gigs of RAM. But then as I said earlier, upgradable to up to 1 terabyte PCI Express SSD, up to Core i7 with 32 gigs of RAM. So really a horsepower machine that will answer all the enterprise needs of our customers.